So every Warframe player in the community has a frame that you dislike, you think is the worst frame in the game hands down. Whether it's Hydroid, Caliban, Inneros, Atlas, the list goes on and each one of you will have a reason for that dislike. For me, it's Hydroid. Seriously, punt him into the sun, the feco will not be missed one bit at all. But that's not who this video is about. In January 2013, Nyx was released into the wild, one of the original nine Warframes when Warframe entered open beta along with Excalibur, Loki, Rhino, Frost, Excalibur Prime, and so on. And over the years, she has seen a somewhat decent amount of usage. Chaos and her Psychic Bolts have mostly held her over, with an Assimilate tank build being a meta thing for a while as well, even if it is seen as a bit of a boring playstyle. But she has been getting barely any love from the community over the last three years. The game, it seems, has moved on and left Nyx in the dirt. It has evolved, granted, quite a lot since her release 10 years ago, a lot of enemies now have immunities or ways to initially avoid Nyx and her abilities, and I think it would be really nice for Digi Extremes to finally remove some of her restrictions. Unlock Nyx, if you will. Allow her bolts to hit more than three enemies in front of her and maybe be a permanent strip. Maybe remove the movement penalty from her assimilate ability as well. Maybe lean into the chaos energy idea with mind control causing affected enemies to maybe explode after a while or be surrounded by chaos orbs that deal damage to enemies to get it within range of them, you get the idea, because right now both Nyx and Nyx Prime have seen a total of 1.5% usage between her normal and her Prime version over 3 years combined, so that 1.5 is with 3 years total, which is the lowest out of all of our Warframes I believe. She gets used less than any other frame. Most frames get that percentage in one year alone, never mind having to combine a total of 3 years. So is Nyx now statistically one of our worst Warframes? It's a sad one because I know they've mentioned in the past that they're not looking to rework any Warframes anymore and they'll probably just end up releasing a new frame with a similar chaos styled idea, which is a shame because I really like Nyx, always have and it's clear now that maybe I'm in the minority. Her second ability, Psychic Bolts, while being really good, is restricted to three enemies at a time and is only a temporary defense strip. Unlike other similar defense stripping abilities like Styanax's Tharos Strike, which is a permanent defense strip and affects anything in its path. It also has punch through. Her mind control is, to put it lightly, pants, even after they've buffed its damage and it just serves as a distraction for the most part, although you can mind control acolytes for a few seconds, which is great. Her chaos is still a solid crowd control, but Eximus units having overguard means that they will walk right through it. Granted, they will target enemies under the influence of chaos that are close to them instead of you, but if you happen to be the closest enemy, then they will fire a shot or two at you. And her assimilate, which can still tank and is still quite good, is slow as all hell, and like I said, is a really, really boring playstyle. In a game that kind of prides itself on this insanely fast movement. Even with teleport melee weapons or weapons that add some level of mobility to an assimilate Terminator Nyx, it's still quite boring. But if you could, how would you fix Nyx? Or are you happy leaving her behind? Maybe like me, you're in the minority and you still really, really enjoy Nyx. Then more power to you. Go nuts, have fun. Free game, you may as well. Have a great day. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks very much for watching.